number three today on my list of urgent matters. Maybe it should be number one, but that is the border. It is worse than you've been told, even by me, because the evidence of wholesale failure is there every single day. Right now, as we speak, tens of thousands of people from all over the world are on their way to cross the border illegally. Right now, some want a better life. Some want to be Americans. Many others, they just want to invade. They want to rob, pillage, and take anything and everything they can. Others quite simply want to destroy this country, a country they call the Great Satan, and they will sacrifice their own lives to make it happen. I mean, the terrorist attacks are coming. It's not a matter of whether it will happen. It's a matter of when and where. And will there be multiple attacks at the same time? Those are the relevant questions we should be facing today, this morning, and asking ourselves. Let me start with Oscar L. Blue. He is a reporter for Real America's Voice who has covered tens of thousands of miles from the border all the way to South America, covering the story of the flood of illegals streaming into our country. He's gone down and back and covered it many times. This may be the biggest threat of all in the end. Flooding us with people that are not from this country, don't care about this country, just want something. All of it. Time will tell, I suppose. The invasion plan of being executed to destroy America, some believe. With millions coming in, Oscar L. Blue talks with one of the men leading a caravan right now. This caravan is on its way here. It has six to 7,000 people in it. Here's the guy that's leading the charge. Listen. Now, the Biden administration it has been, in a way, completely incompetent with immigration policies that they are betrayed to be human, but they're completely on the opposite, on the contrast, they're inhuman of what is happening right now in South America, Central America, and in the Northern border. Your perception about that? Yeah, I believe that uh, the, the Biden administration has uh, dropped the ball. Immigration, uh, a lot of the countries are fueling the, are, are actually, this uh, crisis, immigration crisis, is not a crisis that is uh, about, it is a lot of the people are being, uh, you know, harsh conditions, but a lot of the countries are, are fueling this immigration by, by providing, in a way, a, transporting people, letting people in and, and using them as a, as a way to all the, all the people that are working with uh, Lopez Obrador to make sure that a lot of this immigration goes straight into the United States. Do you think that is immigration is being weaponized? Definitely, that definitely is being weaponized against the United States, against the Joe Biden administration. Joe Biden administration has, uh, has lost the ball. So he gets it. It's being weaponized and it's all being planned. He says the countries all along the route are, are helping out the route to America, helping and providing the means to show up at our border and just walk in, walk in. He asked why America doesn't understand what we're dealing with, because it's extortion. That's what we're dealing with. Hear what he says. Not every country has been just providing the rights, charging them 20 30 or $40, and then just pushing them in, pushing them in all the way to the Mexican border. Then when you get to the Mexican border, you don't have the mass reportation. All they do is just hold them up, hold them up and weaponize them and let them go. Do and make sure that they, they Joe Biden gives them money. But as an American citizen, I would say do not give Mexico or any of those countries that are completely responsible with immigration, given zero cents. And the Joe Biden administration has lost the ball. Yeah. They've dropped the ball or lost the ball, as he put it. Now, it depends on who you ask, but the estimates range from about 6 million to as many as 15 million people that have come in already under the watch of Joe Biden. And right now, the numbers are setting new records every single day. And many of the once mouthy Democrat politicians who chided Republicans for sounding the alarm on the invasion find themselves begging for it to stop. In New York City, the Democrat mayor admits the illegal alien invasion is bankrupting the Big Apple. We're going to skip ahead to number six is what we're going to do here. Uh, number six with Mayor Adams. Listen to this. So now we have to, you, me, taxpayers, have to find $12 billion out of a $30 billion budget. It has to come from somewhere. It has to come from somewhere. And they're leaving us stranded. Stranded. And the worst part about it, we could easily get another two to 300,000 more migrant asylum seekers in the next few months. We're getting, we're getting anywhere from 2,500 to 4,000 a week. A week. 
And the next, they say, well, Eric, why don't you just stop letting them in? It's against the law. Federal law does not allow me to do that. That's right. The mayor also says New York right now is at a breaking point, and it's the fault, he says, of Joe Biden and this administration. He doesn't pull any punches on this. Listen. This has created a crisis that's wrong for New York taxpayers, wrong for the migrants, and wrong for our city, and wrong for our country. And the national yeah, government is not doing their job. You should not have to pick up the course of this and migrants and asylum seekers should not be living in the conditions that we're in. Well, the price we're going to pay is going to be much higher, Mr. Mayor. Much higher. Because it's unfettered, the invasion. Unchecked, unvetted, unleashed into our country. We don't even know who's here. All right, I've got more to talk about with this when I come back. Don't go anywhere. It's the Steve Gerber Show.